<laughs> I was very happy when I saw this request uh, come up. So thanks, James. I appreciate you. Hi, right, guys. Welcome to Leave Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. Yeah, I know I am. We are back with uh, Mr. David Gilmore. And we're going to his second uh, solo studio album called About Face. It was released in 1983. 84, my apologies. It was released a day uh, before his 38th birthday. Yep, a day before his 38th. Two of the songs, and one of the which, uh, one of which we are listening to today, which is called "All Lovers Are Deranged," are written. Um, well, the lyrics are written by Pete of the Who, and it also appears on his solo album called Scoop Three. So that's pretty cool. I love seeing uh, legends team up like that. That's really cool. The two songs you're listening to are "Until We Sleep" and "All Lovers Are Deranged," and this is courtesy of our patron James R. Thank you as always, my friend. I truly appreciate you. And uh, let's do this. I'm uh, I'm down. Apparently, this is kind of new wavy, soft rock, progressive rockish. Is, 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 does that cover the bases? I don't know. I guess we'll see. And if y'all aren't subscribed, please help brother out. Click that icon right below my face. We've done a few solo David Gilmore stuff. We've done tons of Pink Floyd. I will link it all up there if you want to go watch it. All right. First up, Until We Sleep by David Gilmore. Three, two, one, go. I was about to turn it up like, oh shit, did I mute it? <laughs> Sounds like a nine inch nail sound. Just on the instrumental. But like on another level. First track on the album. Paladino John Ward Wow Very 80s, but I love it.
N. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's such a good sound there. That was a very 80s, like, Pink Floydish sound. You know, with those, like, really low, industrial-sounding synths, almost. I really liked that. That was cool. All lovers are deranged. It has a Who vibe to it. <laughs> With a little Pink Floyd salt on it. I was looking to see if Pete was on here, but he's not. Wow, that sounded just like him. Yes, they are. <laughs> I agree. Oh, really? That was too short. Yeah. Whoa. That sounded like Pete destroying his guitar there. <laughs> Man, that was awesome. I uh, I don't expect anything less from Gilmore at this point. Uh, everything he's ever touched has been um, at least great, you know, to transcendent always, you know. There's always the levels to it. Uh, and there's not a bad song I've heard from him, uh, anything he's been involved with, and it, it doesn't. That counts here too. Uh, it definitely had the first song had this very you know synth heavy and like dark industrial kind of vibe to it. It kind of reminded me of a couple soundtracks from video um, video games I listened. Uh, not that I listened to, but I heard as a kid, like on the N sixty four, like for Perfect Dark or Golden Eye stuff like that. It really reminded me of that. Maybe they were inspired by you know Gilmore's solo work in the eighties. He, uh, I know he wasn't doing the synths or anything. He actually did the vocals, guitars, and bass for this, but he didn't do any synth work or anything. But I wonder if David was on here at all. I, I checked, but I didn't see his name. I didn't see anybody. I saw Jeff Beccaro, Pino Palladino, 
um, Ian Cooley on the Hammond organ and piano. Steve Winwood popped up on a track, but not any of ours. Steve Rance did the Fairlight CMI program programming. Bob Ezrin ke uh, keyboards and the orchestral arrangements. John Lord on the synthesizers and Dudley on synthesizers and the kick horns on brass. Um, there's a lot of backing vocals and technical people and stuff, but I don't know who is all involved with what, but man, was that synth, what, whoever was doing it in that first song, I loved it. And then his little solo uh, towards the end. I think he actually had two, if I'm remembering correctly. Is it two or just one? I can't remember. But there, the one at least was great, and the other one uh, was still good if there was two. Or maybe I'm sticking at the same one. I don't know. But it was a great solo. Um, you pair that with that really seedy kind of dark you know rhythmic bass sound that they had there it it translated very well through like my really nice headphones it sounded so good it felt like i was in the club listening to that like you know back in the 80s or something um and like i said no matter what he touches he's got like the midas touch man like it's just gold doesn't matter if it him and floyd or his solo stuff or him appearing with other people it's always just on another level man he is yeah definitely one of the best of all time and he's got like such a signature sound and style. Like you can always pick up on it. Like no matter what you're like, aha, that's David Gilmore, you know, <laughs> just like that. Um, and the second one that definitely had a, a who vibe. Like it, honestly, if it was like Pink Floyd and who had a baby, that's what that song would sound like. Cause it had the very hard rock, hard edge sort of, sort of guitar parts and solo. It sounded kind of like a Pete solo. And, uh, but it also had like the, the keyboard and synthesizer sound and like the, little spaces in between the guitar parts and like his vocals are always consistent too. They're not great, but they're not bad at all. Like anywhere close to it either. I think he has a really nice voice and um, for the music he plays, it, it works very, very well. Cause it's very uh, dreamlike kind of dreamy kind of voice, you know, like it just feels like you're, it's a very, what's the word surreal almost sounding like, I, I don't know, but no matter whenever I hear his vocals, I always, kind of feel like I'm having an out of body experience for some reason. Maybe I'm just used to the Floyd at this point. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, the keyboards and the sizes are great in both. The guitar was great in both. Um, I like the vocals. They were good. Um, I guess maybe. I don't know. Like I definitely saw what he was going for with the first one, but it felt like a great intro track to the album. I don't know what the rest of the album sounds like other than the one song, but it was written by Pete. So it was another one, but. I don't know. I don't know what he's going for sometimes. Sometimes I have to listen to it a couple times to really be like, oh, okay, that's what he's doing. You know, um, it, he assaults you with a lot of different sounds at once, you know? So it kind of, it's not like it's sensory overload, but you kind of have to give it time to breathe, you know? And then you kind of will be able to digest it and understand it better. Um, the second one though, I, I got that. That was a who track basically straight up. And I loved every second of it. That was great. I would have to pick that one as my favorite of the two, uh, but I definitely enjoyed both. Thank you, James, for that. That was great. I'd say that the guitar, yeah, definitely guitar is my favorite. There's a, that's the, the, the solo in the second one. Um, man, that sounded so much like Pete. And then even at the end, it sounded like he like smashed his guitar into his amp or something. Cause it sounded, you know what I'm saying? Like the, he emulated, uh, Pete perfectly there. Cause I literally had to look and see if he was on the personnel list to see if that was him. No, that was David. That was great. So Man, I want to listen to more from this album. Like, uh, what was it again? What, it was like mid 80s. Let me see. It was 86. See, I always forget the dates. I, I talk about so much, and then the date, I always forget. 84, recorded in 83. Damn, I was off. Okay. That's so crazy, man. So he didn't have a, um, that was his last solo album until On an Island in 2006. So 22 years later, he released an album. Good for him, man. I guess he went off with Floyd again or yeah. Cause they had some other albums, right? See, like I hear, like I, I thought, I think I know Pink Floyd and then I'll look at their album chronology or chronology. Yeah. And uh, I'll be like, wait, what the fuck is that album? You know, like I didn't even know that existed. I actually was at the secondhand store today and I found some CDs. I'll have to show you in the next video. But one of them, when I was looking, it said Pink Floyd on it. And it was like an album I hadn't heard of, actually. I was like, bet. Oh, I'm going to get this, you know? Guess what? It was Toby Keith. <laughs> it, it, the, the side covering, I guess, like the back uh, sleeve was Pink Floyd. And then um, I think it was Division Bell. No, it wasn't Division Bell. It was a different one. But yeah, 
Toby Keith instead inside. Glad I looked because I would have been pissed. Pissed. Do I have it right there? Oh, I can't even reach it. Well, I'll show you all in the next video. I got a couple cool ones. Um, I think that's it. I mean, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys have any other suggestions, buy David Gilmore, Pink Floyd, anything we should do for Flo uh, Floyd Friday because it's been a while since we've done one of those. Because um, I never, <laughs> it never works out. Either they get blocked or they just demonetize them. So it's like, whatever. But I still like the band, obviously. I enjoy them uh, immensely. So it's not like I don't want to do them. It's just sometimes. I am overloaded with requests and I just don't have a slot to devote to, you know, just a random Pink Floyd song, you know, which I wish I could. That's why I like when like the doors get requested or Pink Floyd, like those are bands I want to explore more, but I just don't have the time to really, you know, just do it myself. But it is what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see y'all later. I'm out. Patreon right there. Hey, get out of here, bro. There's a link in the description. Uh, join the $15 tier up. You get one for your request a month. Join any tier, you get access to all of our block videos and full album reactions. There's a lot of stuff on there, and uh, we'd love to have you in the Discord. Come hang out. And there is a PayPal as well in the description if you want to send a tip or request in that way. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'm out. Bye-bye.